and welcome to Hof Pop, Hofstra Points of Pride. I'm your host, Emily Bravo. It was Aristotle who said the aim of art is to represent not the outward appearance of things, but their inward significance. Today, of course, we'll be talking about art. You'll have the opportunity to meet Nancy Richner, director of the Hofstra University Museum. She'll tell you a little bit about the two galleries here on campus, the Emily Lowe Gallery and the David Filderman Gallery, as well as the current exhibits. So if you're interested in learning more about this wonderful place on campus, keep on watching. What do I know about the museum? Um, we certainly do have one. I've heard about it. I think I've been in there once. I do not. I didn't know we had a museum. I really can't tell you anything about the Hofstra Museum, even though I'm a senior, because I've never been. <laughs> Inspiring, timeless, mysterious, for everyone, and a hidden gem. The museum consists of two galleries, the Emily Lowe Gallery, which is right across from Memorial Hall, and the David Filderman Gallery, which is on the ninth floor of the Axon Library. We are very, very proud to be accredited by the American Alliance of Museums. Under 10% are accredited, so we're very, very proud to hold that accreditation up. When you come to visit the museum, regardless of the gallery, I think you'll find a place of respite a place where you can just relax and take some time to look carefully. The exhibitions um, are meant to sort of evoke or provoke thoughts, feelings, emotions, depending on where you come from, what background you bring, what knowledge you bring. The fall exhibitions are Converging Voices, Gender and Identity, which is in the Emily Lowe Gallery. And then on the ninth floor in the Filderman Gallery, we have Andy Warhol. The ideas for the exhibitions come from conversations amongst the staff members, looking at what is going on in galleries and museums around the country, but also in conversations with the faculty here. We've had um, students from theater, dance choreography students, we have education students, you name it, because art represents life. When I was first applying to Hofstra, I had no idea there was an art museum. Just being able to have a discourse with people and seeing people of all different ages, older adults, students, young children, preschoolers, look at art and look at themselves in art and have like a visceral reaction. It kind of, I think we see the best of humanity through artwork. It's such a rewarding experience and I encourage every student to come here because you don't know what you're going to find until you come and we're so happy to have you. The gallery provides an escape. It's a time where you can just relax. You don't need a lot of time. You don't need a lot of background knowledge. You don't need to be an artist, an art historian. You just need to be able to breathe in and look. Well, thank you so much for joining us. We truly hope you've enjoyed learning all about today's Points of Pride. To watch more episodes of Hoff Pop, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Emily Bravo. Have a great day.